So in this video, we're going to see how to use Bayes' theorem to calculate probabilities which, be, which have been really important in the last few years during the um, COVID pandemic, but are important in any sort of medical testing environment. Mm -hmm. Probabilities, for instance, like given you have a positive COVID test, what is actually the probability that you have been infected? So let me demonstrate this as follows. Here we have a, a little scheme. Um, you either have COVID, so you're infected, and then you have the disease, we call that event D, or you are not infected, and then we call that event D bar. Then when you test whether you have COVID or not, you either test positive, then we call this event P, or you test negative, then we call this event P bar. And now you can think of a lot of different sort of probabilities here. And let me just write these all down. There's, for instance, the probability that you have the disease. We call and the probability that you do not have the disease, probability D bar. This is what we call marginal probabilities. marginal probabilities and there's another set of marginal probabilities the probability that you test positive and the probability that you test negative or not positive probability of p-bar these are also marginal probabilities marginal probabilities now the probabilities we see here in the center these are what we call joint probabilities for instance, the probability that you do have the disease and you test positive. Or the probability that you do have the disease and you test negative. And here, of course, the probability that you do not have the disease and test positive. And the probability that you do not have the disease and you test negative. So p bar. So, and then probability, we can all add them all together, either the marginal probabilities here, marginal probabilities here, or all the four joint probabilities, we get a value of one. So let's see what sort of information we have. Now, let's assume you've done some, some research on the, on the characteristics of your test. And you know that the probability to test positive, given you have the d disease, so that's a conditional probability, is 0 0.95. And let's also say that your research also um, discovered that the probability to test positive if you do not have the disease is equal to 5%. So these sorts of probabilities, these conditional probabilities, they come from research of the uh, pharmaceutical companies who manufacture the test. These are sort of characteristics of this, of this test. And let's say that you also know that at any at a particular point in time and that could come from sort of surveys for instance the office for national statistic runs that at a particular point in time there's a probability of 10 percent let me use different color here there's a probability of 10 percent so 0 0.1 that anyone in the population has uh, covid so this is actually a pretty high probability, but we use that to make our calculations a little, uh, little easier. Now, you can immediately complete another probability in this table. You know that that means that at any point in time, 90% do not have the disease. Okay, so this is now uh, some information you have. Now, what we then want to calculate is some of these joint probabilities okay so we can now basically we can now do almost anything we want with this piece of information
the type of probability, let's say, you are interested in after you administered a test, and let's say you tested positive in a test, and what you may be interested in is the probability that you have the disease further down. So let's say you tested positive and now you're interested in, given that you tested positive, whether you actually have the disease. So you want this probability. Now what you realize now is, oh, Bayes' theorem. Bayes' theorem says you calculate that as the joint probability of having the disease and testing positive divided by the marginal probability of testing positive. So how are we going to calculate this probability? What we need is this joint probability that is the probability and again using Bayes' theorem the probability of testing positive given you have the disease times the probability that you have the disease. And that is what we call sort of a prior or the marginal probability. So let's put it like this before we continue here actually think about this testing problem. Before you take a test what do you think is the probability that you have? COVID? Well, you would say, well, 10%. If I'm just random, if I'm just a random person in the population, there's a 10% probability that I have the test. Sorry, that I, I am infected with COVID. So let's see how this prior or marginal probability changes given the test result. So we need that joint probability here, and that is the probability of having the disease times the probability of testing positive, given you have the disease, divided by the probability of testing positive. Now there are two ways how you can test positive. Either you have the disease and you test positive, given you have the disease, or a mutually exclusive way of testing positive is not having the disease and yet testing positive even though you don't have the disease. So using Bayes' theorem basically twice, first to write down the first equation and then to replace this joint probability here, we now have this written down and let's see which of the probabilities here we have. We have the marginal probability of disease, that's this one. We have the probability of testing positive if you have the disease, because that's one of the test characteristics. Then these two probabilities appear down here again. And what about this? Probability of not having the disease, well we have that as well and the probability of testing positive if you don't have the disease, that is the other characteristics of the test. So we have all the information which we need and we merely have to plug all of this information in here and so what you get, let's write that down, that is 0 0.95 times 0 0.1 divided by 0.95 times 0.1 plus 0.05 times 0 0.9. 0 0.9. Okay, and what we get here is 0 0.095 divided by 0 0.095 plus 0 0.9. What have we got here? All four, five. And that 
in the end will give you 0. Point, oh, actually I have an extra step that's 0. 0.95 divided sorry there's a zero missing 0. 0.095 divided by 0. 0.14 which is 0. 0.6 Seven eight six six seven six seven eight six. So this is now the probability that you have the disease given you tested positive. That means the positive test increased our from the probability of us having the disease from a prior probability of ten percent to almost sixty eight percent. We are not certain to have the disease, but that probability has increased massively given our positive test. Let's actually, given our calculation, see what we can, we can complete um, a bit more information in this table. Let me change the color to red here. So what did we calculate up here, that numerator, that 0 0.095? Well, that was, in the end, the joint probability of having the disease and being tested positive. So that was here, 0 0.095. And what did we calculate here? That was this one. And what was this probability here? That was this one here. And that was the probability, that was really the probability here of testing positive and not having the disease. So that was here. And what was that? That was 0 0.045. The sum of these two was 0 0.14. And that was this one here. That was the probability of testing positive. Now, if we know the probability of testing positive is 0 0.14, then we know that the probability of not testing positive has to be 0 0.86. And we can also complete these last two values here because we know this number plus this number has to add to 10. So that one has to be 0 0.05. And this number here, this has to add up to this. So here we have 0.855. Because 0 0.855 plus 0 0.045 is 0 0.9. So now we sort of know, know everything in here. And we could also ask, let me just do that down here. We could ask, using all of this information, a further question. Let's say, what is the probability that you have the disease conditional on testing negative or not positive. Well, again, we can use Bayes' theorem to say that is the probability of having the disease and not testing positive or testing negative divided by the probability of not testing positive. And that is, now we can go to our table because we already have everything we need. That is um, D, here d and p bar that's this probability here so that is 0 0.005 divided by the probability of not testing positive that is 0 0.86 and if you calculate that what you get is 0 0.0058 so how do we interpret this uh, probability before you test you think your best guess is your probability of having COVID is 10%. That's the marginal probability of having COVID. If you take a test and that test shows negative, okay, P bar, then the probability of having the disease given that negative test is now 0 0.0058. So you're not certain to not have the disease, but the probability with that negative test has massively reduced from 10% to approximately half a percent. So this is a super useful 
way to understand what Bayes' theorem does. Bayes' theorem allows you to update probabilities given new information. In this case here, the new information is your test result. And that test result doesn't give you certainty, but it allows you to update the probability of having the disease.